Today I'd like to talk about trailers. Let me just finish this and I'll tell you more about this. Okay, so this is it. Now I'm not a big fan of uh, trailers with three wheel um, uh, bicycles. Um, mainly because uh, adding weight to the bike doesn't affect negatively in any way the stability of it. Um, in fact, I, I think that, that many uh, trikes or velomobiles actually ride better in certain ways uh, when they are loaded because they are just planted to the ground and it's, it's a different feel to it. But of course, there are reasons uh, to add a trailer um, and uh, uh, because of that, uh, it is good uh, to have the uh, possibility, at least, uh, to pull a trailer with a velomobile. And that's what uh, uh, this uh, bolt is for. Um, here is the uh, um, hitch mount uh, at the uh, DF velomobile. And I'll uh, explain a little bit more about that and uh, more about the trailer that I've been using on trikes and velomobiles for the past, I think, 12 years um, in this video. Here you see the hitch bowl uh, mount from the bike side, uh, from a different angle. Uh, and this is uh, how uh, it will then be attached uh, to the bike. Um, these are uh, options I use on my trike. This is on my mountain bike. On the Velomobile, however, it's not that easy. Uh, you need a reinforcement uh, on the inside um, to uh, create uh, the stability because the shell is very thin. And here you see the added ring that is, has been laminated um, into the uh, sidewall as a reinforcement. And up there, uh, you can see the hole that you've seen before. Unfortunately, it reduces the cargo space. Uh, here you see me uh, mounting uh, the trailer hitch. Now the main reason to put a trailer on a velomobile is um, the shape of the storage space in a velomobile. You will have to fit all your luggage in uh, small bags and it should have a long um, and not too wide shape. Which of course is possible. Here you see my uh, first quest uh, in 2010. Uh, loaded with about 15 kilos of luggage on a two-week self-supported camping tour around Germany's north. Everything is inside. Now, what do you do when you have some bulky items that you cannot really put into that format? And that's what a trailer is good for on a velomobile. For those occasions when you have to transport something uh, bulky um, that you can't really fit inside the velomobile. Now let's take a look at the trailer that I use. Uh, essentially it is a duffel bag on wheels. So perfectly suited to transport luggage um, and for luggage to be transported inside. It doesn't take up much storage space and uh, is quickly assembled uh, fully as a trailer. Hooking up the trailer is easy. Uh, first fix the uh, steel rope, a security rope, then Put the uh, hitch over the knob, push forward, and that's it. That's a secure connection. The reverse, pull back uh, this. That's the uh, security cable done. Now this is an example um, of something, a bulky item that you can hardly store in the Velomobile, it's a three-person tent, fits easily in the trailer. Or, for another uh, purpose, uh, this is a uh, uh, case of uh, water bottles. Uh, two of these cases uh, fit easily into the trailer, though you can uh, quickly reach the load limit of 40 kilos, which I recommend to keep. You see, um, a large errand run uh, can easily be done uh, with this trailer, and I've done that many times with the trailer. This trailer fits 100 meters of uh, storage, and I've uh, put a couple of things in there. 
including that big tent, a number of sleeping bags, uh, mats, and what have you. Now, let's close this with a solid zipper, and you can uh, adjust it further with these uh, straps on top. You can also strap some things on, on here. Um, you see here, uh, there's two latches for um, a shoulder bag, a shoulder strap, um, and uh, there's also a handle here and there um, to uh, carry. The radical cyclone also comes with uh, a rain cover. Put it over here and there, and in front here, it is secured. around the tow bar. That's it. Another neat feature of this trailer is that you can uh, easily use it for hiking as well. Let me show you. I take the wheel off here and put it in the back position. Over here. Same on the other side. which I can use to go hiking. Now Radical will provide you with a special hiking hitch, uh, which makes it much easier to uh, take this trailer along, um, which I don't have, but you can get it. Now let's see uh, the trailer uh, in action. Here's an old picture from 2008. Actually, I have been using this trailer since, I believe, 2006 or so. Um, and uh, I've been pulling it mostly with my trike, so I didn't have to use the rear rack on the trike. Uh, but sometimes I've combined rear rack uh, with uh, the Cyclone trailer. Here you see it uh, in another part of town. Uh, very nice. I've uh, used it to haul uh, the uh, bike of my granddaughter. And I've also discovered uh, that other people, like uh, Zuren here from Denmark, are using the trailer with 20-inch wheels. And that's what I'm doing now. Here you see um, my DF with the trailer uh, with 20-inch uh, front wheels from a Velomobile mounted to it, carrying about, I think, 25 kilos of malt, um, which we got from another part of Germany, um, to be used for beer brewing. And uh, I show you this uh, to demonstrate that you can go good speeds uh, with a loaded trailer uh, behind the Velomobile. The trailer will be very stable. Um, and uh, the, the weight in the trailer um, uh, helps the uh, um, stability. But you should also be careful uh, when you uh, cross um, uh, rough roads and, and, and potholes. Uh, it will pull. Um, uh, at the back of the Velomobile quite substantially, and actually it's the same with the trike. You can really feel uh, the pull of, the tr of a loaded trailer. Uh, so a bit of caution is in order, but you see here riding at uh, uh, 35 plus kilometers an hour, uh, that is uh, what roadies do, and you do this uh, in a Velomobile with a loaded trailer. So I think uh, you can actually uh, also go touring. Um, with uh, such a trailer, like my friend Søren from uh, Denmark has done uh, a couple of times. Um, by the way, this other trailer is a, is a home-built version with 28-inch uh, uh, wheels. Uh, looks very, very uh, uh, different from, from mine. But yeah, my trailer, is, I think, is, is a pretty neat uh, addition um, uh, to the trike uh, and to the Velomobile. So I can recommend it uh, from many years of experience. It's a well-designed, practical, and very durable uh, piece of equipment. If you want to know more, uh, go to RadicalDesign.com uh, on the web. Uh, they are based in the Netherlands. The Cyclone trailer um, in its current uh, improved version sells for around 550 euros. Uh, and on their site, they have all sorts of accessories and spare parts that you can order uh, with this trailer to uh, um, fit it to your precise needs. 
So much uh, from uh, Velomobile Wonderland on uh, trailers and travels. Uh, thank you for watching.